three, two, one. <laughs> All right, for this enrichment, we have to drop two rolls of toilet paper and we want them to hit the ground at the same time. One of them is unrolling and the other one is just free falling. And in order to calculate the heights that we need to drop them at, we use the conservation of energy. <laughs> With the conservation of energy, we know that energy initial equals energy final. And if we know that, we can conclude that the potential energy will equal the kinetic energy. We also know that the unrolling toilet paper roll has a translational and rotational kinetic energy, while the free-falling toilet paper roll only has translational kinetic energy. We find the velocities of the toilet paper rolls as they hit the ground from the conservation of energy. Then we find how far each needs to travel at the same time by multiplying their average velocities by time. To find average velocity, you take velocity initial plus velocity final and divide that by two. After this calculation, we know we want the two toilet paper rolls to be traveling in the air for the same time, so they hit the ground at the same time. We said delta x1 over delta x2 equal to delta v1 over v2. With those two equations equal to each other, we can find the ratio of the heights at which we need to drop two toilet paper rolls. What part? <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> we did it, Mr. Howe. <laughs> Jack, what'd you do? I did it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I gotta go do... Dude, perfect. This is the sinker. That was easy. <laughs> no skill. This is the three point flush. Let's count that. <laughs> we did it, Mr. Howard. Ha, ha, ha.